what, crows? like an airplane. And really, you're not supposed to pour the clothing into the same bottle. I'm sparing myself the anguish of having to pick up a different bottle. Yeah, you're supposed to have a pour bottle. Pour, pour bottle and a, a pour on and a pour I, off. Yeah, if I find when I'm out, out here, it's just easier to have the one and I, you know, just got to chill on the, chill on the specific rules of engagement. Well, 360 was running the whole time. Yeah. At least they got the front of the plate, maybe. Join the Serenity. You want to. This the little bead that's like the thickest part of the clone, you want to make sure that. Uh, not squishable, like he wants to hold the fingerprint. Conditions just, just today aren't so bad, but uh, if it was really hot today and dry, we'd have less time to process. Typical time frame is about 10 minutes. Um, before the plate dries out, and it won't, it won't uh, expose as well. And um, Need a timer? Yeah, it's not going to be a couple. Of, if you want a timer, it's great. Did you already pull the cap? Yep, four minutes. It's set at four. I'm, um. We'll see. A couple seconds here, there isn't going to change anything. I tend to like put the 10 stop filter on the lens, close the rear shutter. The eye view shutter. And by the time you go through that whole process, you know, you've taken five minutes to take one landscape shot. <laughs> and then, you know, if you want to start messing around, that means, you know, you move the camera, then you have to start the process over again. And that's you know, nothing compared to how long the process this is. I can see that being. Set your timer for eight minutes.
why I like doing portraits. a trip that Union soldiers, soldiers were going that way. What? The Union soldiers were, were fighting that direction, trying to take that hill. Really? Mm-hmm. Right here, pretty much. Trying to tame the races. Oh, that's poison ivy. Oh, up that side of that tree? Mm-hmm. <laughs> or poison oak, it's poison oak. I thought I wore shorts flip-flops. <laughs> I can see it. I was thinking it, but I wasn't going to say it. Also a hot summer's day. I almost wore my boots because I knew I'd be in the mud, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to be in some pictures I don't want to be booting it up. How much more time do we get, you know? It's not important. Just, I'll probably hear it go off. I was just being lazy. Okay. Five minutes and a half. Thank you. Part of me just wants to open it four or five for ten more seconds and be done with it. Don't do it. If I was doing a glass plate negative right now, I would have to do it for about an additional eight minutes, probably. Eight, additional eight to 12 minutes. You're a baby right there. Look at that. I saw a, uh, a buck a couple days ago. I was out here. His horns were just growing out, like maybe six, six to eight inches. They were just spikes. He was scary. Three of them up there. Did you just speak? Was that you talking? Yeah. 320. Thank you. It's really like five minutes. One minute over what we've already had. Pardon? So we're at, we're at five, 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 five minutes, pretty much. We're at four and a half. Now we're at five and counting down two fifty five. I really think eight minutes is it. I think that's where we where we need to be. So yeah, you know the equation. So if you had your SLR, the spot meter, mm -hmm. then you just double you just cut everything in half down to your ISO. So if you set it to ISO one hundred and you look at your exposure, it's like F eight, you know, you you set your F stop mm -hmm. and your ISO, like F eight, and it says Okay, this is going to be a tenth of a second. Then you just start doubling it. Every time you double it, your ISO goes down. So, count by how much? 
So you go 10 to a 20th of a second would be 100 to 50 ISO. Then 20th of a second to, or no, you cut, so 10th of a second would be a fifth of a second, ISO 50. Okay. 1.25 of a second, ISO 25. So you're cutting that ISO in half each time. Yeah, you cut your every time you cut your uh, shutter your ISO in half, your shutter speed doubles in length. Okay. Because you're decreasing the film sensitivity, so you have to double your shutter speed time. And then you just walk that up in whole increments, or cut that in half and half and half and half. And you can make a chart correlating, you know, your f stops and your ISOs. And they go, okay, well I need to be. 10 stops or 20 stops, how whatever that is, then that will then you just take that would be your shutter speed one over. It's easy enough. I mean, when you, when you said ISO one, I was like, okay, well that means at f16 in a bright sunny day, you're shooting at one second exposures. Yep. And then you open up from there. Now a nice thing about the shuttered lenses is you have a T, so you have you know your shutter speeds then bulb. Mm -hmm. And T, and T is for time exposure. So you hit it, and it'll open, and it'll stay open until you hit it again. As yep. opposed to using bulb and then locking it. So you boom, and start your timer, and then boom, and it closes. That's how we would shoot. That's how my TLR is. So you have that option too. Or if you're lucky, and you could find some fancy recocking shutters, so you never have to cock your shutter. But yeah, then those I know. break all the time, so you end up having to have two of those. Not having a shutter, I never, this, with this I've never uh, considered a shutter. 15 seconds. Thank you. I'm going to hear it, right? It's going. Perfect. Thank you. That makes that easy, it's not kind of. bad. See that blue, that blue side? Yeah. You're not really fixed until you get that blue to go away. I'm just going to make sure my silver band is closed. 